In this video, we're going to show you how to replace your engine cooling fan on your Dodge Ram located on the front of your engine. You want to go ahead and find a little plug and plug off your expansion tank hose here. On the front section on your particular vehicle, you're probably going to have a bolt right here. Our particular one has a plastic clip or insert, so we're going to use our tool, pop out the center of this button. When this comes out, the tank has fluid in it, so you want to be careful that that does not drop. If you have your bolt, go ahead and remove that. Set that aside. Now you want to take the expansion tank, pull that up, swing that off to the side. And just let that rest. Now on our washer reservoir here, there are two electrical connectors. You want to go ahead and disconnect those. One of them in the middle of the tank has a little clip on it. You want to pull up on that clip. It's like a locking tab. And then press down on the center and it should release that little lock. We're gonna use a pair of needle nose pliers just to pinch on that little tab there and wiggle this off. Go ahead and pop that off like so. And then there's a little connector right behind it. There's no locking tab on that one. It's a simple pinch and pull. We're gonna use our needle nose pliers again on that one there. Now that we have both of those off, you wanna go ahead and reach down and grab the bottom of the reservoir and we're gonna gently pull that up. Now there are two lock tabs. There's one on the top here that actually just kind of slide into the cooling fan shroud. So we're gonna grab the base, try and dislodge the lower one and pull up on this. Now, if this doesn't want to come up for you as easy as it should, you can simply go underneath the vehicle, use a uh, handle of your mallet and just kind of bump the bottom up, pop that up and out of that little tab. Now I'm just going to use the handle of my mallet and gently bump this up. So after a few taps here, we're able to loosen that unit. Let's go back up on top and remove that. And go ahead and raise your reservoir. Now at this point here, you do have a hose at the bottom of your reservoir that goes to the pump. You can just pop that hose off the bottom, let it drain into a bucket. You can pull it off and plug that hose, but you are gonna have your, your washer fluid in the tank. So you wanna be careful when you separate this unit. I'm simply going to the bottom here. Our reservoir was empty. Simply gonna Wiggle this up and out. And when you pull this out, here are the two tabs that you're dislodging on the bottom. Use a flathead screwdriver. We're going to open up our radiator hose clamp here. Now we went ahead and we put a drain bucket underneath to catch any coolant that would come out from this upper radiator hose. We did not drain the radiator. Go ahead and slide that back. I'm going to wiggle the hose off. And what I'm going to do is I'm gently going to just wiggle the bottom off here and let some of that coolant seep out and just run down. And it's going to run down into my, into my drain bucket there. This hose here has coolant in it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm simply going to grab a strap and I'm gonna pull this back and hold it back out of the way. Just use any securing strap you have around. Make sure that holds back here. Now I'm just gonna wipe down some of the residual coolant that came out and is gonna 
stuff a rag right here because a little bit more from the radiator might dribble out, but it's nothing major. Right here, there's going to be a bolt we need to remove on the driver's side, and there's one on the passenger side. Let's go ahead and remove those. Using our 13 millimeter socket and our ratchet, let's go ahead and loosen and remove this bolt. Now we have that one out. Go ahead and repeat for the passenger side. Grab the fan shroud and we're going to pull up just to dislodge this. Now we want to go ahead and remove our cooling fan. We're going to use this tool here. It's a 36 millimeter. We're going to put this on the cooling fan nut on the front of the water pump. You can use a wrench if you want to, but it's going to be a lot more complicated to do that. Our tool here uses an air hammer. Lock that into place. Give this a few zaps. That loosens the nut, and we'll go ahead and spin that off. So we'll go ahead and remove this tool here. Now we can't pull the shroud without pulling that fan off. So we're gonna go ahead and spin this off the water pump pulley shaft there. And once it separates, we'll lift the shroud out with the fan together. Now when the fan does separate, you wanna be careful it doesn't fall and hit the radiator. You'll feel it when it gets to be pretty loose. It'll wobble a little bit. And we're getting there. So grab the fan, wiggle up on the shroud, separating its little tabs. Gonna reach in through the front of the shroud here. And remove it. Using our half inch socket, we're gonna get and remove these four bolts holding the fan to the fan clutch assembly. Once we have those out, simply take the old fan and separate that from the clutch assembly. Now remove that. Go ahead and line up your new fan. You wanna make sure that the fan blades are facing the correct position. You do not want to install it this way here fan blade will probably have the front marked on it so that should give that away that that is to face the radiator or the front of the vehicle. You go ahead and start getting your bolts installed. I'm going to get all these started by hand and then we'll tighten them down. I'm going to take our fan and we're going to put it inside of the shroud and want to go ahead and lower our shroud down in a position. Now as we're doing this here, you want to pay attention You want to pay attention this portion here, this little tab, there's one on the driver's side as well over here. We'll actually lock into the tabs on the radiator itself. So as you lower that down, you want to go ahead and get that ready to line up. Put our fan inside, lower this down. So 
now that we just have our shroud kind of in place, we can go ahead and get our fan itself lined up on the water pump. And let's go ahead and start to thread that on. Once you get that started, in most cases you can just grab that fan, spin that on. And you see that the nut has stopped because it's fully seated. Now if you have your wrench, go ahead. You can go ahead and tighten that down. In our case, we're gonna use our tool to go ahead and give that a little zap and snug that into place. Just gonna drop our tool in there. And we're just gonna give this a couple little blips here with the tool and snug that down. That is plenty tight. We're gonna get install our bolt here for our fan shroud. I'm gonna get that threaded in. Go ahead and repeat for the passenger side. Just wanna snug those down into place. and release our strap here holding our upper radiator hose. Remember, there's fluid in this hose, so you wanna be careful bringing this back. Line that up, slide that into place, and then we can bring our hose clamp into position. Use your flathead screwdriver, and go ahead and snug that down. Make sure it's good and snug. Now let's go ahead and install our washer reservoir right here. Now we're gonna install the hose on the bottom. Then we're gonna reconnect our connectors here. When lowering this down into position, these two tabs are gonna lock into the bottom of the fan shroud itself, as well as the upper portion will lock into securing this in place. Take your expansion tank here, swing this around, and don't forget to remove the plug. If you put a cap in this here, go ahead and pop that out. Swing this over, put the two tabs on the bottom into the shroud, line this up. Now if you have a bolt here, go ahead and install your bolt. We have a plastic push clip that was in ours. Go ahead and pop that in. Go ahead and open up your radiator cap. You want to go ahead and use the appropriate coolant recommended by the manufacturer. Go ahead and drop your funnel in place. And we're just going to go ahead and top off the system. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.